Hi, this is Match from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at Freezer by Audio Modern. Let's have a look at it. So Freezer is a stutter or a glitch or a beat repeat kind of tool, however you want to say it. And to do that, it takes the incoming audio and then it repeats it in a pattern as defined by your selection down here. And what sets this one apart from the others is, well, there's a few really unique functions in this that I that I really like, which I'll show you in a second, but mainly the overall workflow and the interface and just how easy and clean everything is. And when you combine that with the unique functionality that they have in here, it very quickly has become my go-to glitch or stutter plugin. For the source sound, I am using Playbeat again by Audio Modern. So let's turn Freezer off and let's have a listen to what we have as the source sound. So just this heavy, hard techno loop. Let's now turn Freezer on, and we'll just run through a, a few presets initially, and then I'll go through the parameters and we'll try and create something. Let's turn the wet up. You'll notice at the end of the bar, these glitches move every time they reset, and that's because of this awesome infinity mode. So every time the bar comes to an end, it re-randomizes the pattern. And again. And again. Or we can turn it off if we like this one, and it will stay constant. Amazing. Or let's turn it on and let's change this to, let's go four. And you can see that it plays four times and then repeats. And while doing so, if you look in this little window here, you can see a tiny little number at the top right, and that tells you what current cycle it's in. So one, two, now you know that it will reset next, like so. Let's just put this back to one now, then we can adjust the complexity, and this determines how, well, how complex the randomization is going to be. So if we have it all the way down, then we have hardly any repeats. Or if we turn it up, then it's quite busy. The randomization also has a depth slider as well. So if you look at the top section or the left in this case, you can see that we have, well, there's basically three randomization values. There's this top one. So I'm gonna say they're relatively the same. And we have the next one, which is slightly lower. And then the next one, again, quite consistent. And the reason for that is because of this depth slider to the right. So where it currently is, that's defining the lowest point of the randomization. And the top is determining the maximum point of the randomization. So if we were to turn this up, Turn this one down, and similarly for the right. Now we play it back again, you'll see the range of these increase significantly. Super cool. Just like all audio modern stuff, the interface is so clean, it's so easy to use, it's so well thought out and presented. Currently we're in stereo mode, so we have a separate left and right randomization. We can flick this over to mono and just have a mono glitch. I do prefer using stereo though, so let's go back to that. Another awesome little feature is this temporary randomization button here. So let's turn infinity mode off and we'll play this back. And we'll turn all these bars down for the moment. So currently there is no randomization. And then once we press this temporary randomization, it will add a bit of a glitchiness while this button is being held down. So let's try that.
and let it go, and the randomization disappears. Turn the complexity up, I do it again. Let it go, and it's gone. So cool for just adding random sporadic glitches throughout a track. So let's randomize the pattern once again, press this big button in the middle. You'll notice that when we were playing this back, it was randomizing the kick and the snare. And in dance music, you probably don't want that. So one of the amazing unique functions that Frieza has is the ability to lock steps. So let's change the number of steps to 16, like so. Just click in a random pattern again. So let's turn the kick and the snare values down. Like so. And then we're going to click on this little lock button. I'm going to lock these steps so that they don't change. You'll notice also that the 1, the 5, the 9, and the 13 have a little white underline. Just another indication that they've really thought about this and the usability of it. So now that we have these locked, let's randomize again. And you can see that these steps are still locked, so there's going to be no randomization on these steps at all. We still have it on infinity mode, so when we play this back, we'll get a new pattern, but the kick and the snare will be unaffected. So cool. Let's now take this one step further. I'm going to close that. I'm going to duplicate Playbeat. Now on Playbeat, on the second instance, I'm going to solo the hats. And on the first instance, I'm going to mute the hats. So in total, exactly the same as what we had before, but just split over two instances. On the first one, I'm going to disable Freezer. So now we only have the glitchiness on the hats. Let's now remove the lock because that's not needed anymore because it's only on the hat. Put this on to eight steps again. And now we can apply a filter to it. Let's put a band pass. Let's turn infinity back on again. And then we can make it go ping pong mode instead. Which doesn't really matter if you have infinity mode on because it's randomized anyway. Let's turn infinity mode off. Super cool, absolutely love this thing. Easily my favorite glitch beat repeat plugin by far. Absolutely love it. So go check it out. It's currently on offer from Audio Plugin Deals and I'll be back shortly. See you then.